Hey guys, and welcome back to Desert uh, Strike. When we last left off, we got to the fifth. Uh, the fifth. There is no fifth. We got to the third mission, and we also saved our co-pilot. So we now have X Man. This is not X Man. We have Jake. Yes, he's actually the only uh, like extra co-pilot we can actually unlock in this game. He doesn't make a huge difference, to be honest. Um, but hey, we unlocked him, so we've got him. Let's go. So, Campaign 3, Embassy City. This mission used to terrify me as a kid. I used to think it was ridiculously difficult. Absolutely borderline impossible. It's not. <laughs> not at all. So, let's go. In response to your rescue of the POWs, a group of enemy terrorists have taken over the American Embassy. Our UN inspectors are also being held against their will. We need you to save these hostages. The Madman's secret biological weapons plant and his ICBM underground missile silos are also near the city. So, these are your next missions. This Madman's pretty well equipped. He's uh, pretty tough. Uh, one, rescue the UN inspectors. Destroy the bioweapons plant. Destroy the ICBM missiles. Save the pilots lost at sea. Destroy the power station. Rescue the hostages on the Madman's yacht. Capture the enemy ambassador. Liberate the embassy. Oh, yeah. Right. Wow, looks like we've got our uh, job cut out for us today. Well, let's go for it. Let's get us some turbo fire, because why the fuck not? Now, this map actually is kind of cool. I It's very busy. There's a lot going on here. Um, you've got the city in the middle. Uh, I don't really know what kind of city this is meant to be, but hey, somewhere in the Middle East, I guess, because of course it is. Uh, so first off, United Nations inspectors searching for the madman's nuclear plans. A group of six UN inspectors on a fact-finding mission are being held captive in a hotel parking lot. Rescue them before they're attacked. All right, we're on it. Now, there's actually a nice little variety of things to do on this level. Hey, buddies. I think our budget must be running out because this LZ doesn't have uh, any soldiers defending it apart from the two on the gun, which is interesting. Yeah, uh, cu cost cutting, I suppose. Okay, so well, we're not going to worry too much about that. Interestingly enough, if we come, ooh, hello, come down here into this city. There's a little Brucey bonus we can do on this level. We're going to start opening up all of the buildings we can as well because there's a lot of supplies hidden. Um, supplies aren't actually that rare on this mission. There's a rapier there. We give him three hydras and he's gone. Ooh, something just stung. What was that? Oh, you can't quite see it, but that is a bulldog. No, it's not. It's an M38. Yeah, these are the new enemies for this mission. These things don't fuck around. M48 Mobile Sam Launcher. 200 points of armor, so it takes two Hellfires to dust one of these things. Uh, and it does six, um, 100 points of damage to us. So six of these missiles, and game over, man. It takes two Hellfires to take out an M48. This pup has fast missile, but slow reload. Try hitting it between shots. Yeah. This thing is savage. Uh, it's not the nastiest kid on the block, which we shall see in the next mission, but it's definitely up there. Right, let's keep going to town. Now, there's a TV station here with an X landing pad next to it, which is curious. There's a little Brucey bonus that we can do here that we're going to go and do, actually, because we might as well. We found some more fuel. Now, there's a lot of fuel and ammo and shit like that on the map. And there's armor there as well, which is quite nice. There's quite a lot of hidden armor on this map as well. But only the stuff that's exposed, um, i.e. not shut up inside a building, is actually highlighted on this map. So when I was a kid, I used to think this was really hard because there's so much... Um, well, there's only so many uh, reloads of fuel and ammo. But actually... There isn't. There's loads. It's everywhere. So, you just got to find it. Now, Jungle Strike really starts taking the piss in that regard. Jungle Strike starts kicking you in the balls pretty hardcore. Now, before we do too much, 
I do want to open as many buildings as possible to set us up for the mission. Now, look at this news crew here. We're gonna, ah, hello. You alright there, buddy? There's a couple of guys on the ground here. Not sure what they're doing. Reporting the news, I suppose. And they're in a bit of a bad way. So we can actually airlift these guys. And drop them down at the TV station. Now, as a kid, it took... Like, I wondered for ages what this actually does. Um, and it doesn't actually do anything interesting. It's just like a little bonus. It gives you extra points. But I suppose there's no point in not doing it, right? Extra points. Because, hey, we're the good guys, apparently. Although, I suppose, you know, history's written by the victor, isn't it? So, take that of a pinch of salt. But we do get a little bit of armour, I think, here. I think these guys repair our armour. They do. So I suppose in that regard it's worth it. Okay, um, we've got 38 fuel left, which ain't great. But we should have enough to get to where we need to go. But we're going to continue opening up all the buildings we can. Because why not? Oh, look at this. Ooh, danger zone. No, don't sing. Don't sing. You only embarrass yourself on the internet. Nobody ever forgets anything on the internet. You can ruin your career by saying one word on the internet. Sad but true. Sad but true. The internet is like an elephant, never forgets. Because everybody on the internet is pure and innocent, apart from the person that says the one bad thing. Okay. We need fuel. Yes, it's funny just how many people like to tear everybody else down because of one mistake they said on Twitch or something when themselves are probably nasty little bastards at home behind closed doors. Yeah, it's interesting. What a world we live in. Anyway, that is why we're cleansing this place with fire. Yeah, that really hurt. That really sucked. Civilian buildings destroyed. Yeah, these hotels are civilian buildings. We probably should be being a little bit more careful. Um, hmm. I don't need to be careful. I'm in an Apache. So let's get out of here. I'm not going to destroy any more of this stuff. Not yet, anyway. Let's proceed with our mission. Hmm. All right, we've got some more stuff here. And there's an enemy. Zeus going up there. Let's go waste his ass. One Hellfire. Switch around. Two Hydras. Done. And there's a... Oh, dear. There is a rapier around the corner. Let him blow his load. And then we fill his ass up with fire. Nice. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Now, let's open up all these buildings whilst we're here. Where actually are we on the map? Okay, cool. We're in the right area. And there's the quick winch. We shall have it. Thank you. It's going to make things a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. Now, unfortunately, armor doesn't show up on the map. It does in later games, but not in this one. So let's go rescue these UM boys. Come on guys, get on. Enough space for everybody. There we go. Now you don't have to pick them all up, which I always thought was a bit strange. I like picking them all up. So I don't like leaving dudes behind if I can help it. So we've got some more fuel there, which isn't too bad actually. Nice little place for some fuel. Now, what else we got? What else we got? Is that it? Just these hotels left. That's fine. Maybe I should go get a knife and scratch the location of that armor into my new monitor. Um, yeah, how about... No, actually, on second thought. I think the missus would kill me. Um, okay, let's go drop these guys off. Well, our armor's actually okay. So what we're going to do, let's go over to our next objective, which is... Uh, biological weapons. Biological weapons factory. Armor. 200. Uh, the madman's plans. To launch ICBMs of biological weapons. Destroy the secret plant. And then capture the lead biochemist. He knows the location of the ICBMs. Yeah, now the thing is. With these guys. It says quite a few enemies dotted around here, but they're not enemies that show up. They're kind of like wussy stuff, like these VDAs here. You don't need to worry too much about them. 
So let's go thin these guys out. Just have a little check around. We're probably not going to get them all. Because there is many. Now every one of these buildings we destroy will actually pump out um, a scientist. We're going to have to collect all of those. Now we already have a maximum load. Ah, these. Destroy these. Ah, this little turd trying to sneak up on us. Now destroy these and they should give us fuel barrels. Which is very nice. We like fuel barrels. Fuel barrels keep our helicopter very happy. Now I was looking up Apaches and stuff um, last night. Because obviously the Apache is an old dog now. Um, 1975 I think it was first kind of like started and it went into service in 1980 something so she's an old bird <clears throat> and I was looking up um, the next evolution of the Apache and um, the, the new upgrade for the Apache looks pretty baller it's called a compound Apache and it's quite a big redesign um, the whole tail rotor is different the shape at the front is quite a lot different, but instead of having the um, rear push, uh, the rear stabilizer uh, propeller, it's actually got a pusher propeller, and it's going to be much, much faster. Um, it's very early stages yet. All they've done so far is create a 30% scale model and put it in a wind tunnel and basically say, yeah, yeah, it's quite a lot better than what we got. Um, so that's where we are. Now the Comanche was unfortunately which you fly in um, Desert Strike was unfortunately cancelled that was going to be the next generation scout helicopter which was supposed to scout and paint targets for the Apache which is quite interesting because the Comanche was quite the beastie thing um, a light attack helicopter they were billing it as but <laughs> It doesn't really look like a light attack helicopter. It looked pretty gnarly. Maybe not up to the Apache standards, but damn, son. But yeah, that was cancelled. Oh, we're out of missiles. Uh, out of guns. That was cancelled because um, it was too expensive. Basically, it was going to use up 30%. Uh, no, 70 odd percent of the US's uh, aviation military budget. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and besides, you know, they had the Apache, which kind of can do pretty much everything that one could do anyway. So, yeah. A shame, because it was very, very cool. Very cool design. Stealth helicopter. Um, very tough, hard to shoot down stealth helicopter um, that had plenty of balls to it. Uh, especially like the fold away wings uh, that folded into the belly. Um, kind of like the wings on the Apache, but they would unfold uh, with all the rockets and shit underneath. Really cool. Couldn't hold half as much weaponry as the Apache, but it was gnarly nonetheless. Now, this compound Apache is actually going to hold a lot more ammo and shit. But the the main reason that we lost the Comanche was they basically decided to carry on going with uh, drone research and unmanned UAVs and stuff like that, which was probably the best call. Uh, it would have been nice to see some badass new fucking attack chopper, but never mind. Anyway, missile silos. Underground ICBMs. Aimed at Western targets, Armour 200. Destroy the ICBM silos before they can launch their missiles. They are usually located in the desert, hidden under the sand dunes. This is the mission I used to hate as a kid. I freaking hated this mission. Because you could very quickly, very, very quickly, get a game over here if you let too many ICBMs fly. They're also not necessarily easy to find. I mean, that one's kind of obvious. It's right there. Let's see if we can open this thing up. Come on. Kind of want to test. Yep. Okay, we managed to get that. Just. So you can actually shoot them down mid-flight. We are out of fuel again, because of course we are. Uh, let's go scoop up these fuel drums down here. Now... 
the problem i think you can only lo uh, let two go if you let two go you get a mission failed so one's okay now let's keep going let's keep searching the sand and it is very hard to see where these are i think it's that one nope trying to think now back to memory ah it's that one right next to the bloody zeus i think there we go. Nope. Where are you? Is it that one? No, hello. What are you doing here? See you turn up. Right. Nice try, buddy. So, where are you? Yeah, this is where you can burn a heck of a lot of fuel. Ah, there it is. Right, so that one's right there. I was going to say, I know that, that... I wouldn't say they're obvious, but you can tell if you kind of have a good gander. Now, once you blow the launch bay doors off, I don't think they fire the missiles then. I think they're kind of destroyed, but don't quote me on that. Right, let's go save some fuel by flying over the sea. Because that makes sense. We save an awful lot of fuel by flying over the sea. Don't ask me questions. Uh, I don't think that's a feature of the Apache in real life. I'm pretty sure it still burns um, fuel over water. I might be wrong. Maybe it sucks up the, the water and uses it for fuel. Who knows? Oh, hello. Oh, do not want. Eight hellfires to bring that bastard down. Not eight hellfires, eight hydras. Right, we've got two targets here. I hate it when you blow them open and they're... Oh, God. There's two targets. Because uh, nine times out of ten, your guns will lock onto the bloody um, thing that you don't want to shoot. Which is bad. Okay, what are we like? Weapons are pretty empty again, so that's fine. We're going to scoop that up. We're going to remember that armor's there, but we're not going to grab it just yet. We'll, uh, we'll make a mental note of that armor. Uh, by making a mental note of that armor, I mean we're going to forget about it. Right, so, next port of call. Right up here, apparently. Oh, VD-8. Oh, God damn it! another M48. Oh, God. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to shoot at. Okay, good stuff. Now, here, I think there's some goodies hidden. Yeah, we've got some ammo. I think there's an extra life here somewhere. Memory serves. Yeah. My man here is holding on to it. That extra life won't serve you, my friend. Fuel. All right. Nice. Nice. Now, which one of these is the football in? Well, you're not exactly a football. You're now dust. There we go. That's what we want. There we are. Now we can finish it off with the guns. So we've got an extra life, which is pretty nice. Um, right. We don't need to destroy that other one up there. We will do, but we won't do it just yet. So Lost at Sea is the next mission. So we're going to have to go drop off our dudes. Where's fuel? Hmm... guess we will scoop this fuel up here. Sure. Why not? We are burning through our fuel supplies, but we're also kind of moving through this mission pretty quickly, to be honest. There's more fuel there. There's ammo there. We've got plenty of ammo for this. These next few missions are actually really quick. Ooh. Ah, you bastard. Stung us there. But that's actually fine, because we've got to go drop all these guys off. So we're going to get all of our armor replaced. We will clean sweep as we usually do. We'll make sure all the enemies are destroyed and whatnot. I don't know what's going on with the weather today either. Like it's really overclassed. Uh, overclassed? Yes, it's overclassed. Peasants. It's... um really overcast but my god it's hot now new enemy speedboats i used to hate these things as a kid 
I used to think they were quite funny. You've literally got some freaking, um, like, I don't know, douchebag in his speedboat with some other guy with a rocket launcher holding on the side. It just cracks me up. Thanks for saving me. I found out that the madman's yacht defense can be lowered if the power station is off. I don't know how that's going to help, to be honest. I don't know how destroying a power station actually shuts down the defences on a boat at sea. We're not going to ask questions, we're just going to roll with it. Now we are going to save all of the pilots, because again, it's just extra armour, and we're not losing anything over the sea, we're not burning fuel, so it's kind of pointless not to do it. Now considering these are just speed but ooh, these are just speed boats, they actually are quite tough, sadly. Um, I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, I thought they were surfboards. I might be wrong. I don't know. For some reason, I've got that image in my head now of them being surfboards. But they do use these a lot in the next mission, I think. Well, not a lot. Oh, we're bingo hydras. Oof, he's gone. Hell Hydra. Okay, so now we've just got to go destroy the power station. We're already up to, yeah, there's only eight missions and we're already up to five. Dude. I remember this game being so long back in the day, but I guess it really isn't. Destroy the power station to shut down the ambassador's camp and the power grid that surrounds the embassy. All right. And I must admit, I'm really enjoying playing this with the 8-bit dough. Now, there's two good companies that produce these third-party uh, old-school control pads. One's 8-bit dough. I can't remember the name of the other one. Retrobit, I think. Yeah, Retrobit. And Retrobit are actually making reproduction Dreamcast control pads now. I think they announced it a couple of months ago. And shit, son. Ooh, I'm all over that. There's also another company making uh, a new Dreamcast control pad that looks a little bit like a 360 control pad, but it's still compatible with all the Dreamcast gubbins that I really want to get. The only trouble is these these third-party control pads, not necessarily the 8-bit dough. I think that was 30 quid, 30 pounds, or 25, I think. They're not extortionately overpriced and the quality of them is exceptional but these dreamcast ones and whatnot oh god are cr and we've just oh no um are crazy uh, money there's ammo crate everywhere okay we've got loads of ammo crates yeah, the, I think the Dreamcast one was like £60. And then obviously, because I'm in the UK, it's like another £20, £25 for delivery. So you're looking at spending nearly 100 quid on a control pad. Is it worth it? Um, yes, <laughs> if it's good. But it, yeah, it's a lot of money because the Dreamcast control pad, uh, as much as I love the Dreamcast, it's my joint favourite system of all time. It's dog shit. It was dog shit then and it's dog shit now. It's an awful, awful control pad, which is interesting considering Sega uh, made some fantastic control pads. The, the uh, Sega Saturn control pad was amazing. It was a little bit short-sighted. Should have had some analog sticks on that motherfucker, I think. But there we go. Um, the Master System control pad was fantastic, as was the Mega Drive. But yeah, they, they really did drop the ball with the Dreamcast one. Okay, so... How are we doing, kiddos? We are doing okay. So we've just... And here come the recycling trucks. Glad I'm not on those today. So you might hear a little bit of noise. Okay, so now we've just got to beeline down and go straight for the embassy. Um, there's definitely more fuel hidden on this mission. Without a doubt, there's more fuel hidden on this mission, but we don't have access to it right now. I am going to scoop this fuel drum up down here. A bit premature, perhaps, but 
We want to make sure this bird's loaded. We have plenty of weapons, so that's cool. So, let's head to sea. And of course, because of yesterday, we have tons of recycling just outside my window there, which is going to be loud because we had a huge clear out and a tidy up of our gaming room. Um, it's actually starting to look quite empty in here, which is nice. We just need to get some nice furniture in here, you know. And I have all my consoles on display. Oof. And that's where the wind. Yeah, the window's shut as well. Now, another enemy. Helicopters. These helicopters do insane damage. They're really nasty. They're really nasty, guys. You can already see how much damage we've taken. So, let's blow a hole in this bastard. And let's read the district. Uh, destructions. The destructions, yes. Madman's private yacht, Armour 100. The madman is known to be hiding in his yacht, but beware, he is holding 12 hostages as human shields. Rescue these hostages. So two complete loads of people, but I very rarely manage to get all 12 out because one of them pretty much always drowns. Now, as a kid, I never knew what that said um, because I'm dyslexic. Um, I just, obviously I've learnt as I've got older uh, I'm much better than I used to be but my reading used to be awful as a kid and I had no idea what that was right the madman is indeed escaping but there's nothing we can do about that come on I think we're full up yep no more room that guy's going to drown I'm pretty sure but on the flip side, we're going to go get all of our armour back. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Swings and fucking roundabouts, lads. Right. Let's go. Where is this dude? I think he's like halfway up the beach. There he is. Right. And I'm going to drink coffee whilst we wait. Alrighty then. Now, I also want to thank everyone that's been coming to my streams uh, on YouTube recently. It's, we've had a really good turnout and it's been fun. Uh, trouble is, uh, my internet just has not been, been playing ball with us. So, uh, I don't know what to do in regards to streaming. Uh, maybe I shall... Yeah, he's drowned. Just can never never save that guy or I have done but it's rare there we go we don't need to save that many of these guys to be honest we can let a good five of them drown fuck off get out of here of course we don't want to let them drown because that's terrible uh, now enemy ambassador enemy ambassador is in hiding uh, armor 250 protected by radar that is important. The fact that it says protected by radar. Very important. This fucked over Little Titan as a kid. This really fucked over Little Titan as a kid. Because Little Titan didn't know where the radar was. And if you don't know where the radar uh, is, good night, sir. So, capture the enemy ambassador hiding in his camp. He will give you access to the embassy security system and destroy all four command centers. Yes. So, first thing we're going to do is go sting the radar, I think, because, man, that thing, basically what that does, if you don't, <coughs> it paints an alert zone. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> I've also had a sore throat for about six weeks now. Um, yeah, if you don't, that paints an alert zone on the next area, and, well, it, mm, yeah, there are uh, M48s up there. And if you have to fight one of those in an alert zone, you're not going to win. You know, it, game over. Because the damage they do is double. So it only takes three missiles to put you down. Their armor is doubled or tripled. So they become almost invincible. And the icing on the cake is they fire a lot faster. I think they, their firing speed doubles. Now, here's the radar. Here's the little sneaky bastard radar, which actually is not that far away. 
But this really screwed me over. Because there's no indicator of where it is, I don't think. I don't think it says anything. No, there's no mention whatsoever of where that is. So let's peel open some of these buildings. Let's see what we have inside. There's an M48 up there. I don't want no business with him yet. What's in here? More ammo. They're giving us a lot of ammo, which is cool. A uh, couple of fuel drums. Ooh, nice. Oh, that actually hit. That hit us. Ooh, got him. No, don't. Why are you... Why are you aiming at the AA gun? The AA gun that literally tickles us. Oh, right, let's go get some repairs. Because <clears throat> that hurt. That really fucking hurt, man. Yeah, the targeting system fucks you over a lot in this game. And it doesn't get better in the sequels. And if anything, actually, it only gets worse in the later games uh, on the PlayStation. The... PlayStation games are actually jankier than these. Um, just because of the nature of the PlayStation, really. It was that awkward early 3D phase. Um, which just hasn't aged very well. Now, I do rag a lot on first-gen 3D games. Um, because they're, they're extremely rough. And, and obviously, no one knew how to make really good control settings. And control layouts and stuff for them. But... You know, you've got to start somewhere. On um, the PlayStation N64 had some wonderful games. They really did. Never really had a Sega Saturn. Uh, always wanted one. Always wanted a Sega Saturn. And I will get one. But as with all gaming tech at the moment, the prices have absolutely skyrocketed. So I just want to get one to mod. I'm going to be modifying all of my older consoles that I can to remove the disk drives so I can get them to run ROMs natively if I can because I'm getting tired of replacing uh, lasers and a lot of cons uh, system lasers are getting harder to find. Let's go scoop up this fuel. One of the harder systems to replace is the Dreamcast because of how rare they are and all oh, we could actually go do this last yeah there's an M48 there go do this last silo and uh, another console that I really want to baby is the Wii U so that's getting modded and hacked because getting replacement drives for that machine is not easy at all so any machine that had uh, very poor sales is always gonna it's always gonna be hard to get um, replacements which is one thing I praise Microsoft for with the 360 um, they very early on one of the best features was um, well it wasn't actually that early on it's quite late in the 360's life but if you put a disc in you can install the entire disc to the hard drive so you really do cut down on all that wear and tear. And it was such a fucking good idea. I don't know why other companies didn't do that. Just install the game to the hard drive. It really was a wicked feature. Now obviously with the PlayStation 4 and the, the Xbox One X. Well, Xbox One family and all that lot. They do that anyway. That's like, you know their MO, that's how they, they, they function. But these older consoles, because usually the boards and things are fine, they don't really break down unless they overheat too much, stuff like that, as long as you maintain them, clean them out and all that lot, they last forever, but it's the uh, mechanical moving parts that do not hold up well. Right, come here you bastard. Come here, come on. There we go, got ya. So, one of these left. Let's go sort him out. Because why not? Now that might be the last one if we're lucky. Now the next mission is the mission that I really uh, hated quite a lot as a kid. It's an escort mission. You ever known an escort mission to be fun? 
I mean, okay, fine. Resident Evil 4 was an escort mission. That was fun. That was lots of fun. But this, this mission, oof, Embassy Rescue. American Embassy Building Under Siege. Rescue the 12 Embassy officials held captive by enemy terrorists. Escort them by bus to the Navy SEALs camp in the southeast corner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now we have to go run the gauntlet. Uh, this mission actually, from what I can remember in hindsight, is really not that hard. But for little nooblet titan, he, he struggled. He struggled big time until he got good. He did indeed play this game enough to get good. But it took a long time. So we're going to bust open all these buildings. Because... Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, remember when I said the bit about got good? I guess... We're not quite good yet to forget about all those guys. We need to go waste them. Now, hopefully, a couple of these buildings are going to have fuel in. I'm pretty sure at least one of them does. Yeah, we've got a few, what? A few, little, yeah, a few barrels there, which is cool. What's in there? Nothing. Right. Ooh, low armor. Ouch. Sting you. Get rid of you. Ooh, 20 units of armor. Shit, son. Actually, we... C oh, we need fuel as well. Uh, right. Well, let's... Can will we make it to that? Probably not. Let's go pick this fuel up. Like so. And... Yep. Had to happen. Totally forgot about all these guys. Do you know what I was thinking, guys? I was like, let's not pick that armor up there. Let let's let's save that armor in case we need it. Let's go and um, grab the armor from the power plant that we left earlier. <sighs> what did we learn? What did we learn? Don't take chances. Remember that from our other place. Don't take risks. You take risks and you're dead. What does StrikeNet say? There are old pilots and there are bold pilots. But there are no old, bold pilots. Okay, uh, let's go drop these guys down. I think we've pacified the area. And this is fucking rad, this is. Look at these guys, they don't know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> oh the, ba the man came out, the helicopter, and shot us. Let's see the way he stands over his corpse as well. Corpse actually like um, <laughs> kind of like gets depressed as he walks past it. That's quite funny. Ah, uh, got these little choppers. Now there's enemies everywhere now. These bastards. I hate these helicopters. I actually like the aerial combat in this game. It's fun, but they they're hard. They suck. They suck massive testicles. Oh, hello. Who set the rapiers up? And look, there's another fuel thing down here, which I didn't realise. That's nice. Ammo, please. Good thing there's loads of ammo around. It's actually loads of supplies in general, to be honest. Uh, and I'm really sore about losing a life there. I'm so tempted to restart, but I won't. Oh, what a bellend. That was, that was being greedy. That was being greedy. I should have just grabbed the armor. Right, anyway. Let's go escort the uh, the yellow bus. <clears throat> I wish it was a short bus. Oh, someone who's setting up all these rapiers? They're setting them up really quick as well. In the Falklands War, it took the British Army two days to set up the rapier defenses. These guys are just popping them up left and right. I don't know what this guy's doing. And even then, the rapier systems didn't work very well. Yeah, once they, um, once they set them up and they were online, they were fine. But yeah, not good. Okay, cool. You're done. Go on, bus. Let's go. Now, there is an homage to this, I think in Nuclear Strike where you have to drive the bus or you don't have to drive the bus Andrea drives the bus whilst you defend it 
and I thought that was cool. That's kind of like an homage to these old games. To this mission, I guess. Although, um, Soviet Strike and, and Nuclear Strike and all that are a lot harder games. A lot harder games. Right, we're actually really injured here. Let's go get patched up. Because we can. Now, if we're not near the bus, it won't actually do anything. Like, it, it waits for us. We can also stop the bus by hovering over it as well. Uh, not that you need to, there's no point, but it's just something you can do. But my god, do they really step the difficulty up in later games. And we're almost out of fuel. Luckily, there is, there's plenty of fuel. There's so much. You don't ever really have to worry about supplies. There we go. This gentleman's got some fuel ready for us. Cheers, boss. Just waste his truck for those efforts. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, plenty of ammo, but you know, we're here. Why not? I think... Nope, good. We're good. Ooh, Zeus. Now, obviously, we can use turbo fire on the other buttons as well, but there's no point. Um, it does make the missiles hyper lethal, but... Eh. That would be cheating. The only reason I like doing it is because the chain gun is actually like, it's such a useless weapon if you don't do it. And I like all of the weapons to be useful. The chain gun actually gets a lot better in the later games. There's armor there, which is nice. Could probably scoop that up in a minute, actually. Nah, we, yeah, if we need it. Now, see this van here. I think we have to destroy it because it does actually block the road. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's gonna come down. Yeah, it's gonna come down. It'll just park there. It's just, it's just chilling. I don't know why he didn't ram it off the road, but hey. Some twenty or thirty millimeter Gatling gun does, uh, does the job. Although it's not a Gatling gun on the Apache, it's a belt-fed um, cannon. Lethal thing. Disgustingly lethal thing. The Apache is such a gnarly beast. Gonna definitely keep my eye on the coming years on this compound Apache that they're building. Oh fuck! Did not want to see you. Right, destroy you, and we're gonna destroy this lot. Oof. And that is it. Base. Ooh, look at that M38. That kill him. Damn, sneak one of those fuckers down, do you? M38, Jesus. The madman's got some serious hardware. He really has. I mean, it's not as bad as the last level. The last level's savage. <laughs> uh, well, it is, mm, it's not too bad. But it's definitely a little bit tougher in places. Right, and there we go, guys. Let's go pick up our... Dude, and Robert's your father's brother. That is the mission complete. We've basically done everything. Yep, everything we could. Anyway, look how much like supplies are left. There's so many supplies on this level, it's crazy. Oh, there's even fuel drums down here. Now, these fuel drums I don't think actually spawn until we uh, do this mission. So, there is that. You can actually sit there and wait for um, the guys to come out of the bus, but which I actually used to do as a kid. I used to, you know, pretend I was in this Apache protecting everybody as they they ran into the the, the fucking transport plane. But obviously, uh, old old Titan doesn't quite have the patience or imagination that young Titan used to have. Um, right, now, where, ah, armor, might as well, might as well go home with everything. I'm still sore about the fact that we lost that, uh, life. I cannot believe I lost a life in this game. I cannot believe, it. I mean, maybe the final level, lose a life or two, sure, but, oh, God, I feel, 
I feel like my honor is tarnished from that. Never mind. Weapons disarmed. Oh, God, I'm not going to forgive myself for losing that life. Titan, you fucking noob. Anyway, I'm going to write down his password. Because we don't need this password, do you? So, what have we got? Mm, now, I believe if we look at... Yeah, school bus used. Sand launchers destroyed. Radar sites destroyed. Power stations destroyed. Prisoners rescued. POWs rescued. ICBM missiles destroyed. Copilot rescued. Yeah, because you can't kill him. Command, command centers destroyed. Enemy troops destroyed. Enemy buildings destroyed. Yep, 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 yep. A weapons destroyed. Madman is escaping. We actually... We lose points for the civilians that got destroyed, but that wasn't even our fault. And we lose points for the madman escaping, which is part of the game. You, you can't help that. That's a little bit bullshit if you ask me. Right, so what we've got? E T W W T R B. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Anyway, guys. Ah, uh, actually, there's a cutscene after this, I think. Yes. The Madman's Secret Bunker. That chopper team is destroying my forces. Aye. Should we surrender now? <laughs> we must drop the big one now. I feel I must do it myself. Let's go to the toilet. General, you mean we are going with the bomber? Yes, I will change history. We cannot turn back now. Well, I don't think so, me lado. I don't think so at all. I think we're going to put our foot up your ass. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to finish this game off. So, till then, guys. Till then.